This is breaking news from KSL. Good evening. Breaking news in a tragic story we have been covering all day long. Police have released the names of the two teens killed in a shooting near Hunter High School. We're also learning more about the other teen who survived that shooting. Here's the latest from investigators. All three boys who were shot are students at Hunter High. The two killed are 14-year-old Tivani Lapati and 15-year-old Paul Tahi. 15-year-old Ephraim Asiata remains in critical condition tonight. A 14-year-old believed to be the shooter has been booked into juvenile detention. We have team coverage tonight. Andrew Adams following the very latest on the investigation, including one witness who saw everything unfold. We're going to start things off, though, with Lauren Steinbrecher, who is learning more about these young victims. Lauren? Yeah, so tonight lots of people are still coming out and gathering in the spot where there's those two teen boys were killed here this morning and it's pretty clear by the hundreds of people that we have seen coming and going that they were well loved and well known at the Hunter High community. In complete disbelief and anguish, a crowd gathers where a shooting killed two teens and wounded another, exchanging hugs, trying to understand something no one can make sense of. They both were really good guys. They're, um, they're really, like, really close. If you got needed anything, they'll be there for you. Uh, they're really great. The grief hit, says family, friends, classmates, teammates, and coaches spend all evening standing where Paul Tahi and Tivani Lopati, just 15 and 14 years old, were murdered. The two were Hunter High students, and their coaches tell us they were freshman football players with so much to look forward to. The father of one says he lost his only son. A cousin of the two tell us he'll always remember what Paul and Tivani did for him. They would always like say positive things, keep me up, keep me going. Um, now that they're gone, um, I don't know what I'm going to do now without them. The community is grateful that 15-year-old Ephraim Asiata, star sophomore football player, is alive. Ephraim's family in the Granite School District released a statement saying, Principal Oaks recently spoke with the Asiata family and they indicated that he remains in critical condition and the family would appreciate prayers in behalf of their son, nephew and cousin. As a school and district community, we also ask that you keep the families of Paul Tahi and Tavani Lopati in your hearts, thoughts and prayers and that we work to support them in any way we can. The thoughts and prayers permeate here. It means a lot. Um, all of us getting getting together. And so does hurt and heartbreak for two boys with bright futures now suddenly gone. With how young these two boys are, that means that children are grieving over their deaths, left to process what happened here and try to understand why. Now, the school district says that there will be grief counselors on hand, both at Hunter High as well as Hunter Junior High for any student who needs help and support. Back to you. Now your heart breaks for everyone involved here. All these families just simply senseless.